Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog on my vloggy channel. This is so exciting for me. So we are just gonna be starting off another weekend vlog. Today is Friday the 19th and I've got a ton of filming to do today, but first I need to clean up this space that I'm in. This room is really, really small and it gets messy really quickly. So I need to pick it up and vacuum in here so that I can have like a slightly sane atmosphere to work and film in and yeah I thought I would do that with you guys so let's clean up this area I've got clothes to put away I have a bed to make like I said I need to vacuum a real bad I tried to like detangle my string of hearts this morning and it was it was a hot mess so I've got tons of like string of heart things on the ground to get up and yeah let's do it let's get started with our Friday the string of heart mess in question here and here and here. Um, yeah, we will <laughs> clean this up. First, let's put some clothes away. I've got some folded up here. I do not fold up most of my clothes. I hang them up, so let's do this. I might need to kick you off the bed, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. You're so cute. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Good boy. Look who decided to join us. Little baby. <laughs> I'm going to try to make the bed with them on the bed. And then we'll put the laundry away. We'll see how this works. Hi. Hi. Wow, you've been drooling on this pen. We did it. <laughs> so, like I said, I hang up most of my clothes. So, let's hang them up. I like to lay them all flat first. That way I know how many hangers I need. And then this is my ugly robe. I just hang this up in the bathroom um, on the back of the door. So that's where this guy will go. So this bed frame does not leave me much space over here between like my closet and the bed. So I have to kind of shimmy through. But if I close this here, you might be able to see I have this set up here and I keep my like random things like socks and underwear are in here. My like sports bras and shorts and hats and random things, random like swimwear and stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else because I don't really have space. And um, yeah, and then I just kind of hang 
all of my clothes on this side. You'll see I have a bunch of like random stuff up here, like my backpack, some random dog jackets and blankets and stuff. Um, and then it's just plants, as you saw on the last video, on the other side over here. So it's been working out um, well enough, you know. I think I do need to try and make better, better use of the space that's under my bed for storage, um, but it's working out fine for right now, I suppose. I feel like I'm missing something. Are you laying on something? No, good boy. But yeah, so all the clothes are put away. That was easy. And now I think we need to vacuum because it's dirty in here. There's a lot of random stuff on the floor. So let's close this sucker up. Got a rogue sock. Hold on. Beautiful. Well, hello, sweet little boy. <laughs> to see that, look at all these paws right here. Oh my goodness. Are you so cozy? You have not moved since we made this bed. Look at that, sweetie. That's my little baby girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. Oh, you're the good boy too. <laughs> He said, what about me, mom? What about me? Oh, fuck. Oh, that little paw. <laughs> Look at that little paw right there. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Hopefully you can see me. It's time to vacuum. We've put away all the clothes. We have made the bed to the best of our ability with dogs on it. And now <laughs> I have a something a string of something on my leg um and now it's time to clean up in here so i think first we'll start by wiping off the little stool and rolling that into the hallway just for right now and let's pick up all the dog toys and just put them on the bed for right now perfect and we're going to be restaking a bunch of plants soon Hopefully you can see me here. But yeah, we're gonna be restaking re a bunch of plants soon because I had to destake pretty much all of my plants for the move to fit them into boxes and stuff. So we're gonna restake all of them, I think at some point today. That'll be another video on my main channel. So if you wanna see that, go to Plant Therapy um, and you can see that video coming out probably in the next like week or so. Um, but yeah, this guy is just hanging on the floor. This is my Cebu Blue. Hopefully you can see here, boop, Cebu Blue. And I am going to just, <laughs> flop it up on top of itself and another plant that's right here it's actually finally starting to grow you see that Ooh, focus little leaf happening right here i think this is my albo syngonium which i think it's going to be an all white leaf which is not great but it's growing so that's awesome and yeah i'm just going to go ahead and pick up all of the like larger pieces so any like full leaves and these longer um vines or whatever from the string of hearts i'm gonna leave all the like little pieces oh look at this i need to get the folex too because i just discovered this this morning and it was like still wet which is so gross sounding so tma sorry um but it's a super small little spot so i wonder if like my mom's dog threw up or something so i'm gonna grab the folex as well and we will clean that little spot up and you can see the magic that is folex and I feel like everything else should be able to get vacuumed. I've got a piece of fuzz over here. Oh, and here you can kind of see what I have under my bed. Ignore this right here, but you see what I have under my bed. And Luna and Sixto have both been like squeezing under here. But yeah, little Billy's on the floor still, poor guy. I need to find him a home for while I have the AC unit in here. But yeah, oh my God, look at that ear. <laughs> so cute okay let's go and grab the vacuum and start cleaning up the floor in here that is so loud
I almost forgot that we need to hit this spot. And it looks like she peed on my wall. What the hell? Oh, I did not vacuum over here. I need to move this plant and then vacuum back over here. But we just pick up these little dead leaves. So this is Folex. If you've never used Folex before and you like have kids or pets or are just like a human that makes messes sometimes and spills things, you need Folex, you guys. It's amazing. It has fixed so many stains. Problem solved. Now we just have a gross towel to toss in the laundry. Now I am gonna vacuum just the rest of this upstairs area really quick. And then I actually don't know what I'm gonna start next. I think actually next I'm gonna start filming a plant choresy video. So that will be on my main channel. Um, like I said, that's plant therapy. If you don't know already, which I'm sure you guys probably found this channel or most of you probably found this channel from my main channel. But if you didn't, um, definitely go check that out if you are into plants, like I clearly am here with all of my plants. Definitely check that out because I have tons of planty videos and I don't know, we have fun over there. I think we have fun over there. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But yeah, I will see you guys in just a second for you. But for me, it'll probably be a few hours. So see you then. Okay. I put the attachment on this sucker. Hopefully you can see it, you probably can't, but I put the attachment on it so we can get back in the crevices. So let's do that. It's gonna be super satisfying. I feel bad. I'm definitely gonna wake them up, Ooh, but they're so sweet. Oh. Oh, look at that ear. Don't you want it? Looney, <laughs> don't you want it? <laughs> Crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, but you didn't have a good night, huh? We had a rough night last night. She had a peaceful evening. But, oh gosh. The boy, the boy had a rough night. Oh. I had a tummy, a really bad tummy ache. Yeah, I'm feeling better though this morning, huh? I'm gonna get a little bit more weight on you. We've been taking really long walks. And I feel like I can see his ribs more than I want to. Yes, a good boy, huh, buddy? Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with you, see how you're doing. What are you guys up to this weekend? <laughs> I haven't really been doing too much this weekend, so it's been very, very uneventful. Um, we did take my we, I mean my mom and I, took the dogs for a little walk nearby the house, and I'm surprised I hadn't found it yet because there was like this lovely pond and Looney got to play in the water a ton, and I didn't film any of it, I'm so sorry so upset myself but we are going to go back tomorrow we're not going to go back today like i thought we were going to today is saturday um because six toes tummy's a little bit upset so we are just relaxing at the house right now it is about 5 30 5 52 that scares me i was literally just thinking about getting a coffee but maybe we'll just make some popcorn and maybe i'll still make a coffee I'm still gonna have a coffee. Don't judge me, you guys. It's six o'clock and I'm having a coffee, but you know what? 
that's just that's just life right now so yeah i just want to check in say hi let's go make some coffee let's make some popcorn as well um i have a ton more editing to do that's really what i've been doing i've just been editing filming dogging <laughs> just relaxing and just hanging with my dad a lot um and my mom too so yeah um, let's go make some stuff. Oh, and I painted my nails a little bit ago while my phone was dead. So I'm so sorry. I didn't do that with you, but here are my nails. Hopefully you can see them. Um, and the color I used is peach tea from hollow taco. So hopefully you can see that there. Oh, my lights just turned off or my cabinet lights just turned off. So maybe you the light got weird but yeah this is peach tea from hollow taco and i just love it like look at how pretty Ooh. <laughs> um yeah okay let's go downstairs i'm gonna make some coffee i'm gonna make some popcorn i'm gonna show you how i make my popcorn because i'm a little i don't know i put i put some stuff in my popcorn so <laughs> let me show you what i do I love you over there, you my sweet little muffins. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Gonna give us a big yawn? Wow. A lot of build up for them. Oh, I missed that yawn back there too. Wow, sweet girl. Okay. Let's go make popcorn. Oh, I'll introduce you to Rowan. <laughs> little Spitfire. Where is she? There she is. Oh, it's Rowan. Hi, Rowan. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Hi. Oh, you cute. Are you waiting for your mom to get home? I'm sorry. All righty, here we are. I'm gonna grab a little coffee pot out of here. I usually use my French press, but we're just doing it quick and dirty because I don't have any beans or grounds or anything like that. So we are just using this. This is the creamer that I use. It's pretty tasty. And if you don't do dairy, it's dairy free. Yeah, just almond milk creamer, vanilla flavor. They also have a like sweet and creamy flavor that when they're out of the vanilla, the sweet and creamy is like almost the same. So little, little tip. <laughs> While this is going, let's Get in this cabinet and, oh my God, do not tell me, do not tell me, excuse me, <gasps> no, I think we're out of popcorn, <gasps> well, that's heartbreaking. I'm going to do a deep search really quick. Hold on. Just, we're, I'm not getting up yet. Hold on. This is almost done. Thank God. Okay. Thank you very much. Huh? What color is that? All right. Don't judge me, but I need it a little bit creamier than that. Okay. I like a lot of creamer in my, oh, okay. I have a feeling I just over, overdid it there. It might be a little too creamy, but that's okay. Ooh, there's my nail polish in different light, perhaps. Pretty. I am no professional at doing my nails. I'm quite terrible because you have to go slow when you do your nails. And uh, yeah, your girl's not good at taking her time with things like that. I am a go, go, go kind of person. So. <laughs> That's good. Um, all right, let's see. I'm not giving up in this godforsaken cabinet right here. So hold on, let me just double check because I just got nutritional yeast. I got more nooch, which is what I put on my popcorn. Oh no. At least I do have a couple little seaweed packs left. I got these ones from Oh, I like, don't remember what store I was at. I'm so sorry, but these are pretty good. Sweet and spicy. They are a little spicy. And there's also like a Korean barbecue flavor, I think, of this brand, the um, Kim Nori. And that one's really good too. So 
if you're a toasted sneed snack connoisseur like myself, you know, we gotta have our options. Well, dang it, you guys. I was really excited about popcorn. Ugh. Instead, I'm gonna make myself B for D. We're gonna have breakfast for dinner, okay? Instead of popcorn for dinner, which, let's be honest, it's probably better. So let's do that. I'm gonna make it that with you guys. That'll be fun. Yeah, let's make B for D. Cool. Huh. Okay, so first things first, we are making waffles. So, well, we're gonna kind of make it all at the same time, but I'm gonna get this sucker heating up and I'm gonna grab a pan. Goodness, after all that racket, got a pan. And move that sucker out of the way. Set him so he doesn't wobble. Why do you wanna wobble? Okay, don't mind the dirty stove, all right? Okay, don't mind it. Let's just ignore it, okay? All right, <laughs> we got a deal. So, here we are. You can see our two stations, bam. We're just making two items. We're not going too crazy, all right? We're keeping our sanity here. I've got my almond milk. I've got butter for later. We're actually not gonna need that yet. We're gonna put that aside. I've got my Beyond sausage, breakfast sausages. I really like these. And applesauce. Don't worry, I will explain in a moment. Oil. So now I've got my pancake and waffle mix. I'm gonna grab us a bowl, a little mixing bowl or a large one because that's all we can find. So we've got this and I am just gonna kind of eyeball it, um, but there are directions on how to do it. So I will explain where, <laughs> where the applesauce comes in because I know some of you might be like, what's going on with this applesauce? So. Per the instructions on here, right? Sixto, you're still licking. Stop. Get your head away from your butt and stop licking. Thank you. <laughs> you're a good boy. So per the instructions here, it says one cup of milk. <gasps> I thought it said dry milk and I was like, what have I been doing this whole time? Excuse me, one cup of dry mix. This is what I get for reading this through my phone. Okay, you guys don't mind me, I'm not crazy. Um, a quarter cup of milk, which I feel like is incorrect because it's like super thick and like, no, you need more than a quarter cup of milk. So don't be scared when you end up needing more than a quarter cup of milk. Just now as I'm editing this and I'm like zoomed in enough so that my terrible eyeballs can see, I'm just now noticing that that says three quarters cup of milk, not one quarter. <laughs> oh, all the dots are connecting. And then a tablespoon of oil, which is where that oil comes in, and then an egg. Now, your girl doesn't eat eggs. So what I do instead of one egg is I do four tablespoons of applesauce. I didn't just make that up, I looked it up. So if you're looking for an egg substitute, applesauce can be really great, especially in baking and stuff like that. So yeah, I am just going to kind of eyeball it. Cool, that looks right-ish. Got about that much pancake mix in there. And four tablespoons. Again, I'm not really being too crazy about this. I'm just kind of I'd say, I would say that's about four tablespoons in there. I've measured out the tablespoons so many times at this point that it's like, I kind of just know what it looks like. Um, and then just a tablespoon, is it a tablespoon or a teaspoon? I don't even remember. I just do like a little dollop, a tablespoon of oil. And then some almond milk. I just use whatever brand. We happened to be at Winco the other day. So we got the Winco brand almond milk tastes the same as any other almond milk if you ask me, but I don't like drink it, drink it. You know what I mean? I just use it to mix into things. And then I just mix this up with a fork because you don't want it to be overly mixed. Um, I've made that mistake before and the waffles just come out not right. So I'm just like really lightly mixing this and I may have actually put in too much milk, which never happens. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more, a little bit more of that in there. Oh, and while we're here, I should get 
this bad boy heating up so I can put those sausage links. So again, you want the ingredients like just mixed together. So I'm trying not to go too crazy. You wanna leave it looking a little bit lumpy. Can you see that in there? There's some lumps happening. I think that the light turning off means that this is ready. So before I put those in there, I do just wanna go ahead and get the sausage links on the pan. I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna cook up four of them and I'll probably end up sharing some with the dogs. <laughs> Now that we've officially got these little guys going over here, let me turn this little light on for us. So we can see we have our sausages going. I'm gonna use some of this stuff, just any kind of like spray oil or something will work well. Or even if you just like melt some butter onto here, it'll probably work well. Oh, <laughs> this did not get cleaned after the last use. That's probably my bad. Just give that a light spray, like so. Okay, and then I wait for this light that's on right now to turn back off and then I'll flip this over and then wait for the light to turn on again or something. I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring this little guy out. Kind of. Ooh. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely overcooked those a little bit. I turned the heat up a little too much for those sausages. But, ooh, this looks perfect. Here we have it. Some B for D. Hmm, delicious. Okay, I am going to sit my butt right over there I've got some Mia Maples on the TV over there. I think I mentioned this in my last vlog or something like that maybe, but I like just rediscovered her or like really truly discovered her for like, for her true self, you know, rather than just seeing a couple random videos here and there. And I freaking love her and her mom is like the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm gonna watch me some Mia Maples content. Sorry, you can't even see me here while I eat my uh, B for D. And then after that, I'm going to have to feed the doggies as well because it's 620. It's 20 minutes past, past their um, dinner time. I can't believe I haven't heard any wines yet. So I am going to just put a little bit of this earth balance, no smart balance butter on my waffle and get my syrup. I do like syrup on all of my breakfast food. It's not breakfast food if there's no syrup. And it needs to be real maple syrup, okay? We're not doing that fake stuff. No, no, no. It is probably super dark and I don't have my microphone plugged in cause it's dead. Um, So I just wanted to do one last check-in for the evening. It is Saturday night still. <laughs> and um, we are all in the bed here. And by we all for right now, it's Luna, Six Toe, and Rowan. We are just relaxing and I also wanted to get your guys' advice if you have any here for me. So, okay, check this out. I always have this happen to me. I don't know why. And give me any of your guys' tips or tricks to have this not happen. But do you see these two fingers? Like, uh, rock on? No, not rock on. <laughs> My nail polish comes off and like as like an, the full thing. And I don't put a peely base on. I do put a quick dry um, base on there before my like regular nail polish. And then I also put that quick dry base on top as a top coat. But what the heck? So weird. Do you hear that frog? Is that a toad or is that a frog? Look at how pretty. This um did have a third little tear to it, but I had to take it down because I stand like there-ish when I'm putting my laundry away and everything and my head would knock onto it. And so, or not my head, but like my arms when I would be like reaching up or something, but it makes a really lovely effect. Yeah. Not too shabby. 
All right, you guys. Well, I am going to see you guys tomorrow. I think my mom and I are going to do some shopping tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to go to the mall, which I'm, I'm a little bit dreading, but I am going to go to the gym first. I do not yet have the courage to bring you guys in with me to the gym, but if that is something that you ever do want to see, um, let me know. And if you guys ask, I will try to just push myself to do it. Um, but yeah, I feel really weird filming this angle, so I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you in like two seconds for you. We're officially back to the gray. If anyone's wondering, the beautiful sun we've had, <laughs> not the norm. Okay, so I just took the dogs out potty and they had breakfast. I feel like I look like a crazy person, um, but that's all right. I'm choking down my pre-workout. It's actually not bad tasting. I'm so feeling very unmotivated to go to the gym and I know that like, that means that I really extra need to make myself go because then I'll feel so much better. But um, yeah, let me show you the pre-workout that I'm using. This is the stuff that I've been using. It's MRM Driven Pre-Workout Boost in the Mixed Berries flavor. And let me just like show you. Just in case you're curious, you can kind of like pause and read what's in here if you are interested. I really like this stuff. I find it gives me those pre-workout burny itches um just the right amount and it doesn't last for very long and i like truly get a good amount of energy um from the pre-workout so if i'm just feeling like really heavy in the morning and like everything is hard to move the pre-workout and then like drinking a ton of water following up with that and before as well i drink a glass of water before usually sometimes i don't sometimes i'll just drink the pre-workout and then start drinking my water but um either way i find it really really helps so i highly recommend if you are a pre-workout uh drinker i love you please don't be mad at me i'm gonna go to the gym first and then we'll go for a walk i love you so much she seems to be feeling better this morning oh my goodness are you the prettiest girl in the whole world? Are you the prettiest girl in just the whole stinking world? You are. You are the prettiest girl. Walk her towards yours. Walk her towards sweet yours. Oh, you got an eye booger. Mama get it. Mama get it. Oh, that's my girl. Have you ever seen a dog with so many belly spots? I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. You're just the prettiest little girl. Yes, you are. That's Mama's girl. Yes. Oh, I love you. Okay. I love you. Okay, we've made it to the gym. I go to Anytime Fitness, just so you guys, in case you're wondering what gym I go to. I've been members there for a really long time, and um, I really like it. It's like when we were traveling and stuff, if we were like down in Austin, Texas, we could go to a gym there and like also use like the showers and stuff like that when we were traveling and living in the van. Um, it was really nice, but yeah, um, I'm just dilly dallying because I don't want to go in there, but I need to, it's going to be good. I haven't even like fully decided what workout I want to do today. I'm thinking I'm going to do shoulders cause I don't think I've done shoulders in like a week. So, and I really need to just like get back on my like regular, like you know, if I'm going to do shoulders, it'll be like, I don't know, maybe shoulders and then, I don't know, shoulders, arms, legs, and then like a back day, or no, we'll do shoulder, yeah, shoulders, arms, and then we'll do legs, and then we'll do back, and then we'll do chest, and then we'll do maybe legs again. Maybe that will be our plan, and then when I forget what I said I was going to do, I'll just watch this clip. <laughs> back to myself oh I did want to give you guys an update so now I told you last night that my nail polish just like 
comes off in like a full little sheet as if it was like a press on sticker nail thing, <laughs> which it's not. I took the time and like painstakingly, painstakingly painted my nail polish on. This is what I am left with this morning. I am missing all four on here. And as you can see, there's no like remnants. They peeled off as a whole. Oh, and this one I lost, which I feel like I literally just lost this one. Oh, I did. <gasps> what the hell? Look at this. That was my nail polish right there. And it just came off as a whole. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. This happens also if I like, um, even if I like really make sure to clean any oils off of my nails before I paint them with a base coat and then uh, the nail polish and then a top coat. It happens if I don't, if I don't do that, it happens like I've tried cleaning my nails with like, um, you know, just nail polish remover beforehand. I've tried cleaning them with like alcohol beforehand to like really make sure they're fully cleaned off and there's no oils or anything like that. And they just pop right off. It might just be like my body chemistry. I'm not really sure, but, um, yeah, let me know if that happens to you. So weird. Cause then it just feels like a waste, but I love having my nails painted because it just looks nice. <laughs> it makes me feel good. But yeah, does this happen to you? Okay. Anyway, my hands are officially getting that kind of itchiness from <laughs> the inner itchiness from pre-workout. If you know, you know, um, if you don't, it's not scary. I'm not trying to make it sound scary. It's, it's normal. It means we're ready to start moving. So this is good. My, it's kicking in. And that means I officially need to get my ass in there. So and it's been extra hard to work out too, because I seem to have lost one of my headphones. Just one. Don't know where it is. I've been so good about it. I've had the same cheap set of like less than $20 headphones from Walmart for like, I think over two years, maybe I've had them for a long time. Oh, there's someone pulling up right next to me. Ah! And I've never lost them for like more than a day or two. And this, I've lost this headphone or this earbud for like two weeks now. All right. Well, better get my butt in there. Luckily there's only ever like zero to like five people max working out in this gym. At least anytime I've ever come here. So it's not terribly crowded. Um, I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more crowded. Cause I mean, seeing other people working hard at the gym gives me like, I don't know, more gusto to go at it. Cause it's like, all right, these suckers are doing it. I can do it too. I'm a sucker too. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I'm officially dilly dallying. Dilly dallying. Let's go. Okay. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it for this vlog. I feel like this is going to be a super long one. So definitely let me know what you think of this little bit longer video for this channel. Let me know if you like it or if you prefer shorter videos. I'm definitely interested to hear. Um, we did do some shopping. So yeah, I think I might do a like try on haul kind of a video. I've never done that before and it honestly kind of scares me, but I think it might be fun. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that at all. Um, as you saw, we went to Lululemon. We also went to a couple of other places and um, I also got some new shoes too. It was just like tennis shoes because that's pretty much all I can wear. But um, yeah, I definitely got some good stuff. So let me know if you are interested in seeing that. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.